Hey what is up guys, Andy here with a YouTube video, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can build a gaming computer for under $500. Alright, so before we actually get this video started, I'd like to go ahead and say that this build does not include keyboard, mouse, monitor, or operating system. These are just the main components of the actual computer, but I will leave links in the description below to keyboard, mouse, monitor, and operating system. Um, also, if you haven't seen my top five monitors video, be sure to check that out. I will have a, a little annotation in the top right hand corner for you to click on. But lastly, before we get into this video, be sure to subscribe and leave a thumbs up. It helps me a ton. And if you like this build, and if you actually decide to use this build for your first computer, um, be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below how it worked out for you. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoy. Starting off with the processor, we have the Intel i3-7100. It's a dual core processor which means it has 4 threads and its base clock speed is 3.9GHz. This CPU is more than capable enough to run all your games at high to ultra settings. For the graphics card, we're using the EVGA GTX 1050 Ti Superclocked Gaming 4GB Edition graphics card. It has a base clock speed of 1354 MHz, and while in overclock mode, it has a clock speed of 1468 MHz. With the 4GB of memory that this video card has, you are capable of running all the current games at 60fps on ultra settings such as Battlefield 1 at 1080p. For the memory, I've chosen two sticks of 4GB Crucial Ballistic Sport LT DDR4 memory. We chose two sticks of 4GB memory instead of one stick of 8GB memory to maximize performance. Each stick has a clock speed of 2400MHz which is optimal for gaming. For the power supply, we use the EVGA 430W1. For being exactly $30 and pumping out 430 watts, this power supply is one of the best PSUs on the market. Though it is non-modular, it does have 80 plus efficiency and also includes heavy duty protections such as under voltage protection, overpower protection, and short circuit protection. For storage, I chose the 120GB SanDisk Plus SSD. To have the best performance while gaming, you need a hard drive capable of fast read and write speeds. That's why this SSD has write speeds of up to 530 megabytes per second with read speeds of up to 400 megabytes per second, which is perfect for gaming. For the motherboard, I chose the MSI 250M Pro VD. For being a micro ATX motherboard, it has plenty of ports. That including one M.2 port, four USB 3.0 ports, two USB 2.0 ports, and six SATA 3 ports. So you have plenty of places to put more hard drives in the future. And lastly for the case, I chose the Zalman T4 Micro ATX. It's only 6.7 inches wide, 16.8 inches tall, and 13.4 inches long. This case can support up to four fans and can also hold a GPU up to 250 to 300 millimeters in length. It also includes one USB 3.0 and one USB 2.0 port on the front. In total, that brings our grand price to $498.04 as of the date that this video was published. Of course, this price will fluctuate up and down just depending on what the prices and discounts and in this case rebates are for each different kind of part, but the general range is around $500. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. Remember that I will have a link in the description below where you can check out this entire build and modify it or look at the price, whatever you want to do to it. So be sure to check that out. But that's pretty much it for this video guys. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm on my way to 50,000 subscribers and all help is appreciated. But that's pretty much it for this video guys and I will see you guys next time. Back from the dead.